Hi Aries, uh, this is February readings, I'm sorry, sorry that I've had so much going on, uh, if you're on my page you probably realise that anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do mid-February to end of February, so covering for the next couple of weeks basically, um, so I'm going to be using my empowerment cards, uh, and then I'm also going to be pulling from the love deck since it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see if we can get you any messages for Valentine's Day. So, I'm doing Aries first. So I want messages for Aries for the end of Feb, mid-Feb to end of Feb. Mid-Feb to end of Feb. Right, so the situation is, the situation you pulled is Call of the Wild. So the Call of the Wild card is um, spiritual protection. It's your own animal totems. So the situation is we're bringing in our animal totems. Uh, we need to pick up on the personality and the traits of our own personal animal totems. You might have been pulled towards a certain animal at the minute or you might need to take on board some of that animal's personality uh, if we've been dreaming of animals or anything like that there's a good indication uh, as to which animal that you need in but also there's a dream catch there so it's spiritual protection in, at night time um, you're spiritually protected so that's good the, the situation call of the wild so sometimes we can be a bit too tame and as an Aries a fire sign Sometimes you need to let go a little bit, untame yourself. I'm kind of feeling that will fit for a few. I feel like some people need to let their hair down. <laughs> um, so the challenge, what's the challenge? The challenge is the heart chakra. So there's something going on around the heart chakra, whether that's love or there's grief or there's something affecting the heart chakra. It's like maybe guilt for going out and being happy, uh, feeling guilt. So why is this coming around now? So we get the queen. So this situation, why it's coming around now? Because it's to restore some kind of balance. Uh, the queen, she's she's totally balanced. She's got everything. She, again, she's got her animal guards there. She's got knowledge. She's got scales, which are balanced. You know, she's got the sword. It's hung up, ready. She feels attacked, but she don't feel the need. She's just sat there chilling out. You know, she sat there in the throne. So there's some kind of balance needs to be brought in. If I'm reading for a few, if if you're single and I'm reading this, I'm feeling more. Because like I said, the re the readings won't resonate with every single Aries. Um, I feel like I'm reading for someone who's just gone through a breakup. And it's like, I feel like you need to have more fun if you're a single person whether you're a male or female you know you need to go into queen mode so it's it's like because she's got everything there and the situation the call of the wild being challenged with the heart chakra it's like <clears throat> when we're hurt sometimes we don't really want to go out you know we're kind of recluse so and that's the kind of get, this kind of message I'm feeling. So yeah, so past we've got the recognition card. So it's end of cycle. We've ended a cycle. Um, whether that whether someone else ended the cycle for us, some kind of cycle has been ended. But it's in a positive sense, though it might not feel it right now. It is in a positive. It's positive ending. There's been like an ending, a rebirth. Um, but it's in a positive sense, even though it might not feel it. Yeah. So, but at present, you're still feeling drained, and I feel it's you're feeling drained by what's been going on, uh, the people around you. If you're the one who's left, it might be you feeling drained by people trying to blag you to go back, or you feel guilty, or you know because someone's saying that they you know they miss you they're upset they'll do anything to have you back and it's like i kind of want to say don't go back via guilt uh but the energy is right uh it's 
it's rather draining from ending this circle. So again, if you were the one who was broke up with, someone else could have ended the circle and now you're feeling drained. Um, she's there, she's on her own, she's faded, you know. I feel it's more reading her self-worth, if I'm honest. Near future, temptation. If you've left somebody or somebody has left you recently, I would say there, there is a chance, I want to clarify these anyway, but there's a chance that that person could come back. I'm kind of feeling with the cards that I've pulled though, that, that this person doesn't, they're not good for you and you kind of know it, it's a bit toxic. Um, I kind of like to say in a relationship, you should want someone, not need someone. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like toxic. Um, there's a temptation to go back or the temptation to get back in touch with them. They're showing basically the devil card. Um, and especially with you having drained in your present, being drained in your present, this near future, you might get communication from someone who has had a toxic effect on your life. So your power in this situation, oh. your power in this situation, you got the karma card. You got, so what would put out mirrors back? The energy around that. The energy around the karma card. Freedom. Free yourself from this toxic person. Yeah, definitely. So we've got the freedom card. You need to free yourself from this situation. It was karmic, even if this, even if they felt like a soulmate, it it was it wasn't it was karmic. It it would just we can have lots and lots of soulmates, only one twin flame, but we can have what we can have lots of soulmates, and what we can have, we can have sometimes is karmic soulmates, and karmic soulmate karmic soulmates come in to learn us lessons. So whatever it is that this person has done, if you've been broken up with, um. You need to free yourself from their energy. You're still stuck in it, even though you're not with them. You could actually still be in this relationship. But recently, you've kind of realised that it, it needs to end. Uh, and like I said, this is not going to be for every Aries. You need to check your sun, moon and rising. Um, so let me just see hopes and fears. Hopes and fears, desires. So you're starting to think about what you actually want. What you want to bring in. So that's a hope, your desires, you know, anything's better than this type of feeling. This is just down and toxic and heartbreak and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty surprised you didn't get the heartbreak card. Yeah, so your outcome is a need for balance and what I'm seeing straight away is you're trying to clang, cling on to something, um, but you know deep down that it's toxic for you. So whoever I'm reading for here is trying to hold on to a situation that they know is wrong for them. And I kind of want to say, would you try and walk a dead dog? I know it's not now nice saying that, but, you know, that's, that's... I feel like I'm reading for somebody either who's, get, who's trying to get out of a toxic situation or who has recently just been released from a toxic situation and you're not seeing the benefit of the fact that they've released you i'd i'd be you know that cheers mate you know off you go um just let me clarify i just want to clarify the devil card so yeah the devil card so you've got the page of wands so we've got there's like messages coming in i do feel like they're going to contact you or they're going to try and get you back um Yeah. So then we've got soulmates in reverse. We've got the two of cups in reverse. So it, it's either a relationship that's already ended um, or it's about to end. And about the need for balance. Let's have advice on that. The hermit. Yeah. So it is like the hermit mode anyway. It, it's 
the need for balance. So we've got the need for balance and then I clarified it with the hermit. And I feel like the hermit is on his own. He's, he spends some time on his own. He's a soul searcher. Uh, but he's also a guide. He guides you forward. And I feel that's what you need some time out on your own in order to guide you forward. Is there any more advice around the hermit? Yeah. So we've got the five of pentacles. So it's like you're feeling left out in the cold or you there's a need for you to leave somebody else out in the cold. But it's also being guided towards healing. You know, she's... The, she's, the five of pentacles has different meanings depending on the reading. And what I'm seeing from this, because I'm an intuitive reader, I'm seeing that you're being guarded. And you're outside in the snow, you're cold, you feel, you're feeling left out in the cold, feeling ignored. Do you know what I mean? But you, behind that stained glass window, there's a nice warm church to sit in. And I feel like that's your mind. And I feel like there's, there's a need to go inside and do some soul searching, especially with these cards. Uh, the need to be on your own for a while. Um, to figure out what you actually want. There's a need to heal. There's most definitely a need to heal. This is a karmic tear that you need to free yourself from. You know, we need to free ourselves from this energy that was being thrown at us. So what I'm going to do now, I know they are only short readings. I have been like really like rushed last couple of weeks. I've had a lot going on in my personal life. Um... So next month, I promise, there will be full, full readings. There will be full readings. So, I want to use, I'm going to use the uh, Doreen Virtue Romance deck. I'm going to pull a card uh, for the singles and I'm going to pull a card for the couples. So I'm going to do singles first as I feel like the reading will resonate with someone newly single or going to be single, which, you know, Valentine's Day, it's a man-made day, you know, I don't really matter. But I want to pick a card for the singles, Aries singles. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Straight away, I feel like someone's addicted to you or you're addicted to them, and it's but it's toxic, it's toxic. It's exactly what I was thinking with reading. So with the reading, I wouldn't say I was reading for someone Aries in, who's in a relationship, you know, in a happy relationship. If you're in a toxic relationship, then I'm definitely reading for you. Or if you just left a uh, toxic relationship. So it could have been abusive or it could have been codependent. Um, so you start to feel, you feel like you need this person. It's like I said earlier, the difference between needing and wanting. When we're in a real partnership, we want them. We don't need them. Um, so we need to take time out by yourself and get out of this codependence energy or if there's someone that's been codependent on us we need to release them so that they can learn their karmic lessons and you can free yourself from that energy you know codependency you don't need that that no wonder you got the draining card and for aries couples oh oh retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so what I'm seeing there is there's a need to spend some time on your own. Well, it could be with Valentine's Day. You might be going away for night or something like that. Or it could be that as a couple, you, you need some together time on your own. Um, but that's really good. You know, it's retreat. Spend some quiet time alone. You know, they're just walking through it all, standing and spending time by themselves. No kids running around. You know, no one ironing them or anything like that. Just retreating from the world and spending some nice time together. So, there you go. I hope that helps anybody out there. Thank you. Bye.